absolutely. All right, let's talk some headlines now. The Budweiser Clydesdales, they are coming to the Springfield area. Now, they first appeared in 1933. Really? It's a gift okay. from August and Adolphus Bush to their father in celebration of the repeal of Prohibition. Wow. But next week, you can see them in a few different places here in the Ozarks. Starting Wednesday, April 5th, you can see them at the East Sunshine High V in Springfield from 3 to 4 p.m. And then 4.30 to 5.30 at the Top Hat Liquor in Willard. And Thursday at the Branson Landing. You got those uh, hey. dates and times right here. Uh, Branson Landing from 3 to 5 next Thursday. And then on Friday at Finnegan's Wake in downtown Springfield from 5 to 7. And then Saturday, West Battlefield High V from 1 to 2. And finally, Price Cutter on West Republic Road from 2.30 to 3.30. All of this as the St. Louis Cardinals begin their season this Friday. That's right. At Bush Stadium. Play, Bush play Stadium. The, uh, Toronto Blue Jays. So opening the season at home this year for the Cardinals. Of course, this video you're seeing there was uh, every year they do that on opening day with uh, the, uh, I think, believe they call it, it was a Red Friday, Jeff, upstairs. Red Friday, I think they call it that in St. Louis as well. Oh, do so, they? Yeah. Oh, for the Cardinals. Yep, yep. Okay. Chiefs do a Red Friday thing every yeah, Friday through right. the season, you know, but Red Friday for the Cardinals fans as well up there. So, Very uh, cool. And we'll talk more about baseball season, of course, as it gets closer. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, our next headline, you might notice fewer dining options the next time you order food through Uber Eats as they start busting ghost kitchens. Ghost kitchens? Yeah, yeah. So you, if you haven't heard of ghost kitchens, we'll explain these to you. So Wall Street Journal reports that the company is working to declutter by removing about 5,000 of those virtual restaurants. Those virtual restaurants, also known as ghost kitchens, they don't have physical stores and they only serve food through delivery apps. And some list the same menu under different names to try and attract more customers. So one uh. ghost kitchen in San Francisco, for example, copied and pasted its menu 20 different times so that they'd pop up and you know populate more. So that Wow, okay, that's interesting. Would bite on that. Are you a uh, ghost kitchen? Yeah, are, are you an Uber Eats type person? You ever, you ever do that? Food no, I never service? have. No? No. Um, Done it a few times in a pinch, but... You know, I'll call Jimmy John's and have them deliver it to me. Oh, yes. they are freaky fast. That's what I've They're heard. They're freaky fast. I've heard that. But never Uber Eats. Or no. There's a lot of them out there, like Eat Fresh, another one. Mm -hmm. or yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I, uh, I, I've well documented on the show. Very proud of my five star Uber rating here as a writer. Five star Uber rating. So, there you go. Uh, you know, nothing bad has happened yet. So, uh, you know, still time, I guess, Very good. for me to mess up. But, uh, yeah. There's the, always time to mess up. Always. Always oh, time to mess up. It's never that. But, yeah, Uber Eats in a pinch, man. You got to. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, especially on vacation or something. Coming up next, the last look at your full forecast. Tom's tracking storms coming up later in this week. But few. warmth, at least, is the big story for us, I think, for now, after we get through today's chill. And some local organizations heading down to Mississippi to help communities struck by disaster after tornadoes tore through the region. Color 10's Joshua Pineda reports for us from the Convoy of Hope Center here in Springfield on their disaster relief efforts. That's coming up.